Good evening. Um, we are uh, currently, no, I don't think that's, well, good evening. Uh, I do have an idea to talk about uh, as of now. Um, what I wanted to talk about was a particular word, um, which, which I think if, if, you're, if you're tuning in from America, you, 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 you will like this word, right? Especially if you come from certain cities, perpetrate or perpetration or perpetrator. Um, what does that mean really? And what is some, what is like the non-perpetrator? What, what does that involve? And, and I'll use myself as an example also. So perpetrating is um, very, I mean, if I was to give a good word as an example, it would be posing, right? Um, now you have to have a reason to perpetrate. What is your reason to Typically, I'm thinking typically, if you're gonna perpetrate, it's to gain something, right? Get the right kind of attention, maybe get respect, um, uh, maybe even help you in your business to make money. But I'm not gonna get into that. I'm I'm talking perpetra perpetration and like the like in in the I wouldn't say basic, but in one type of level. Because perpetration, you can take to anywhere. I mean, it, 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 it's a topic that will explode. It can be used in every single world. You know what I mean? And, and, and somebody will say, I know a perpetrator. That reminds me or that gives me the thought, I know a perpetrator. And they can be in a totally different business or something. This can be, but I'm going to use it in a specific world. First of all, um, we're going to use it in, in like, in the sense that, you know, I, I'm, I don't like in the sense that typically it's meant to be used. All right. So let's talk about when I said cities, I'm talking about, again, New York, Chicago, L.A., maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. A little bit. I don't know. Let's keep Let's just keep it in L.A., Chicago, New York. OK, um, typically a perpetrator. Uh, oh, here's a great example. So Easy e was supposed to be uh, he was part of N.W.A. He was a bit of the uh, their iconic gangster there. You know, he was he was the one who gave them the image, made them look cool to non-blacks, like the whites, and 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 got them. And and that was part of Dr. Dre's genius, by the way. He's a he's a genius marketer, and good when it comes to beats. So he, so that credit goes to him, right? Now, thing the thing with Easy E was, as far as anybody knew, anyone if you went to he was supposed to, he was supposed to be from Compton apparently, which is a very bad area of LA, and, and a big gang kind of place too. He was supposed to be a, a legit dude, a legit street dude or a legit gangster, whatever it is. He was considered to be a legit dude, okay? That's part of why he was chosen for that image. All right, now he made a song called Real Compton City G's or Real Mother Effing G's, uh, which was a diss to Dr. Dre <laughs> and Snoop Dogg, um, claiming that they were using the image they were perpetrating, so they were using that gangster image to sell their songs, which may be true or may not be true. I don't know, but I, but but that was the case, okay. But Snoop, I would consider him a legit rapper and and everything. He actually hung out. He grew up with those guys, um, and he was a rapper. I don't think he was really into any kind of criminal activity, not nothing big. But uh, he was he was uh, he used to hang around with those guys. But anyways, that gives you an example of what I mean, right? Perpetrating, you gotta take it to LA. Okay, LA they'll say, oh, a perpetrator, somebody who poses, right? He might dress up uh, like a gangster. Now in LA, you do not want to do that. If I if you go to LA and let's say you dress up as uh, in in the colors and, and you want to look like a certain gang. They, 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 at the very least, they'll jump you and beat you up, at the very least, right? You might get killed, because cause they might uh, be like, you know, I don't know, but you might actually get killed for that, right? And uh, th That's how serious it is over there. Now, reflecting back to myself, I've never lived uh, a, a gang lifestyle. I've never, uh, I've never, um, I, I, I didn't grow up like, in a gang, uh, I was not gang affiliated uh, at any point, um, ever really. Um, now, I was not a perpetrator, but I, I talked about this story in, in some, of them, some of the last videos. Anyways, yeah, I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't really uh, gang affiliated. Now, I'm gonna talk about something. Okay, so the History Channel has some documentaries 
not some, they got a lot of documentaries when it comes to gangs and things like that, right? Um, I'll tell you, I, and I'll be honest with you. I'll be totally honest with you. I, I relate to two video, two particular documentaries. One of them is on the ARA. I think that was the Aryan Republic Army. And the other one is, um, I forgot what it was called, but it's about the gang life within the military. And those are the two that I related to most because I didn't grow up on, on a street where I was gang banging or there were gang bangers and we were wearing certain colors and, and all that. I didn't grow up like that at all. I didn't grow up around that at all. I never grew up around that, in fact. Um, uh, now, there were people from any area that would go all the way down to find, like if there was a gang area somewhere in Toronto or something, they would go there just to hang out and just to uh, just 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 to be part of that, right? Now, now where am I getting that? Okay, so back to that. So, so the ARA, I, I, I really, okay. So the ARA was a bit of an extremist group. Okay, um, I, as far as I know, it was three main members. One of them fucked up at the end, which I'm not surprised about at all because when I look at his face and his picture, his mugshot, I mean, I would not have wanted to rob banks for that guy. But, but but I'm suspecting that these three knew each other since they were kids, maybe junior high or even younger. I get a feeling that these three grew up together and they knew each other really well. And that's part of why they clicked up to do this. That guy, I would never trust. Um, and that's why I didn't have any friends when I was younger, because I didn't trust anybody. Um, and I always thought somebody would, would, would end up somehow fucking me over or something. So I didn't really, I, I, I didn't have any friends when I was growing up really. But anyways, the point is that the ARA, um, they were very successful at robbing banks. That was what they were doing. Now, in my opinion, uh, I, I'm sure that they were, they were, they were proud of being area and they were pr proud of all that stuff. But in my opinion, okay. Okay, look, to be fair, they're done, right? Their careers are done. I, let me give my opinion on it now. The, the, the documentary came out on, 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 um, on the History Channel like 15 years ago. And uh, I know those guys are done and, and their information is out there anyways. By the way, I don't remember any of their names. I just remember one of their faces, but I don't remember any of their names, okay? They used to make videos in their basement with, uh, with the baklava, with the, with, with, with the robbing mask, whatever you want to call it. Right, they used to put the mask on and they used to preach ARA stuff. In my opinion, I think the ARA, the Aryan, um, the Aryan, whatever it was, <laughs> ARA, Aryan, uh, whatever it was, that was a front because these guys wanted to make, first of all, they were crazy, they were very extreme. You know, guys that are very extreme are the type of guys that are willing to pick up arms before anybody even thinks about it. Okay, guys that are extreme will go to crazy lengths. You know what I mean? They'll do crazy fucking shit. You know what I mean? They may be the biggest nerds as kids. And when they get older, they're just so extreme that they're, they're ready to do almost anything. These guys were like that. The third guy I feel was kind of like the hang around that, that they were kind of pulling along with them and got to be with their group because they didn't want to be a duo maybe and they felt better. And maybe he was equal friends with both of them. Okay, anyways. I don't even remember their names, but I, I don't even remember what ARA stands for, but it was some kind of Aryan kind of thing, organization. Now, my opinion is that they use that Aryan thing as a front, okay? The Aryan thing got them in, right? It won the police over, right? The police was with them over that Aryan stuff. So, so, they, so they got police. I do believe that they were police. Uh, uh, if they were not police affiliated, they got police help somehow, okay? Now, they did very cool stuff. I, I, I should, and I'm done with that. I'm never going to do that again. But it was very, I found it really cool. They were doing IEDs. I don't even know what IED stands for. All I know is that it's some kind of explosive device. Okay. So they would, they, at one point in a bank robbery, they dropped an explosive device, which I thought, and it, I think it wasn't actually real, or maybe it was, but it wasn't activated. Anyways, that was pretty crazy to me. I mean, using IEDs in a bank robbery to me is like, holy shit, who are these guys? All right. Now, I think they were using that Aryan shit. Just because, because I don't believe that, that, that they would be doing, like bank robbery, if you're doing a bank robbery, dude, you got a love and you got a passion for cold, hard cash. You like cold, hard cash. No credit cards, no bank accounts, no nothing. You like cash. You like taking cash. You like spending cash. And you like using cash for whatever the hell you want. Okay. Now, uh, I, I, that's what I assume that they were like. 
Okay. And I think they were pushing that whole Aryan shit um, to get that police assistance and to get, and to get help, help them get away because they did something like over 20 bank robberies, apparently. Okay, that's a lot of bank robberies. So over 20 bank robberies is a lot. All right, so, so they actually did that. Um, so that's the area. So obviously, I don't have to go into it. You can see I'm already really, I, I did that well. Anyways, okay, moving on. So they had the, they had the army thing. Now the army thing was about gangs in the army, okay? There are gangs in the army, all right? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna go into detail, but there were pictures from one of the, one of the wars, uh, that international wars that the US fought. And in this foreign country where they used a different language, they knew nothing, some guys in the military would go around tagging American gang names and American gangs on concrete walls, okay? And then other guys from the military would go cross it out because they were from a rival gang and throw their gang up in foreign countries, which is absolutely crazy. Now, those are the two things they're related to because if I was ever to get in a gang, it would be through the military, because which, was, which I was trying to do. I was trying to get into the military or at least a private security firm like Blackwater. I was, I really wanted to get into Blackwater, okay? So either it was going to be through military or it was going to be through uh, police, which kind of my, and I've explained my situation. I wasn't with, I've explained my situation. At the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if those two guys from the ARA had some contacts high up in the police, okay? I really think that they may have had contacts really high up in the police, kind of like I did when I robbed the bank. So, 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 so going to that. For me, if I was it, no, I'm not a perpetrator. So I'm not going to say, hey, dude, I was uh, hanging flags off, bandanas off my pants pockets and wearing bandanas. I wasn't doing any of that. Uh, I didn't do any of that at all. But if I were ever to get into that, it would only be through the military or through it's kind of what those guys did. Now, why I respect what those guys did is because they did their own thing. You know, they put they put their minds, they, they took their minds and they created something for themselves. Okay, ARA, right? We're gonna use that front. This is gonna be our ticket. Uh, and by the way, nobody gets a free ticket when you're bankrupt. If you fuck up, you fuck up. But anyway, they, this is our ticket. This is how we're gonna get away. This is the front we're gonna use to keep our thing going, All right? We got that straight, okay? Now, they got that thing going. And, uh, and what do they use it for? Because they want money, right? And what do they say? Well, according to them, because they were part of the ARA, they were using the, the, the money they made from the bank robberies to fund their association, which I do believe they probably did. But guess what? When you work, you know, it's a, it, it's a really tough game. I, I, I have to tell you one thing about it. It is not a career, uh, a, a, a lifetime career. You cannot rob banks until you retire. You cannot do that. Some people have that in their mind. They go, well, I'm going to rob one bank and I'm going to take the money and I'm going to go blase, blase, have, have my fun, right? But what happens when you spent that money? Now you want to go do it again and you want to get more money and then you want to do it again and again. And the more you do it, the more chances of being caught. Now, these guys to me were brilliant. I don't know that much about uh, people who did bank and, and, and this is the only one thing I knew. That was their main thing and that was their way to earn money. Right. And, and you got to respect that. If you don't respect that, I don't know, man. I, I, I guess that's why you're a pussy. But anyways, going on, going on. Um, now that's my, so I got the, I got the two things. Now, let me start the next video. Along.